video, I'm going to show you how to make a photo collage in Photoshop. So we're going to pick up uh, where we left off on the last video on how to collect images from Pixabay and put them in your Google Drive. On this video, I'm going to show you how to download them from Google Drive and make your first photo collage. So let's open up Photoshop and press Create New. And the type of document, we're just going to make a web document. So go up here to the top. And click on web and then click on web most common. You can right click on that and it will open up a new document. Go up into window and make sure that your workspace is set on dis essentials default. So that is. And then as a quick review from our last lesson, I want to remind you that if you do control plus, you can zoom in. Control minus is zoom out. And then control zero fills the whole screen with your artboard. You can also press the space bar to move things around. All right, so let's get started with the photo collage. I'm going to go to my drive. So I'm going to open up Google, click on Google Drive, and I'm still signed in. So and here's my assignment three folder that I made on the last lesson with the pictures that I got from Pixabay. Okay, so on this assignment, you're supposed to have one picture as the background, and then the other five pictures are just going to be in rectangles on your um, file. So I'm going to open up this one first, so I'm going to right-click on it, and then I need to go over here to the Download button. And then you can see and down here on the bottom, it downloaded the photo, so I'm going to click on it. And on my computer, it already opens. I'm not sure if the school computers are set up that way or not but it might just download it to your downloads folder and you'll have to go to Photoshop and say file open and find your photo. Okay, so I want to copy this. So the way you do that is to, you need to select anything before you copy it. So you go to select all and I'm going to say control A most of the time when I'm working. So I want to show you first though, select, select all. When you want to deselect something, it's deselect right here. So select all. Now when something is selected in Photoshop, you see these little dotted lines moving around. So that means it's selected and ready for you to do something to it. I want to copy it, so I'm going to go to Edit, Copy. It's also called Control-C, and Paste is Control-V. So I'm going to use those quick keys a lot, but I want to show you where they are at the beginning here. So Edit, Copy, Control-C. Now I can close that by pressing the X. I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to close that file out. And here's my file again, and I'm going to push Paste, Edit, Paste, which is Control-V. All right, so now this background, this picture doesn't fill up my whole background, and I want it to. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit, Control-minus, and then press the space bar to move it around. And to change the size of something, that's tran whoops, that's transforming. So control T, remember T for transform. So when you want to transform something, that means you either want to enlarge it, reduce it, move it, rotate it. All of that is transforming. So control T. Now you'll see when I'm in the control T mode that the picture now has these little corner boxes on it. So if you click there. Hold the shift key when you do this, it's very important. Hold the shift key and click on the corners and pull out. So hold the shift key, click on the corner and pull out. Now that picture is filling the whole area. And before I can do anything else, I either have to press this check mark or press enter on your keyboard. It's very important. If you don't press enter or the check mark, you'll be stuck in the transform mode. So I'm going to press enter. All right, now notice over here on the right-hand side where the Layers palette is, it put that photo on the layer. I'm going to right-click in that where it says Layer 1, and I'm just going to type in what that photo is. So I'm going to press Space, Enter. All right, so now I'm ready to open up the next photo that I want to copy on my photo collage. I'm going to go back to my Google Drive and click on the next picture. So let's do this dog picture. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go to download. And then I can see down here on the left it downloaded it. And if I just click this, I can say open. And then I'm going to do select all because you have to select it first. So control A to select all, control C to copy, 
Now I can close that one. I don't need this picture open anymore. And I'm going to do Control V, paste. And then I want to transform it. I want it to be smaller because I need to fit all five of my photos on here. So I'm going to do Control T. And then I get that box around my photo. And I'm going to hold the Shift key. It's very important. If you don't hold the Shift key, when you um, change the size of your pictures, you're going to make them all warped. And that is not good. We don't want that. So make sure that when you're transforming your picture that you hold the Shift key while you drag so that the picture stays proportional. Now I need to fit five photos on here, so I need to kind of make it, you know, a little bit on the smaller side. I'm going to put this one down here on the bottom, and then once again, either press this check mark up here or press enter. And notice how over here on the layers palette, it put the dog picture on another layer. So I'm going to right click where it says layer one, and I'm just going to put dog, press enter. All right, now I'm ready to open up my next photo. So I'm going to go back to my drive, right click on the dolphin, download it, go over here on the bottom and say open. There's my dolphin. I want to do control A, select all, control C to copy, close that out, control V to paste, and control T to transform. And I'm going to hold the shift key and drag by the corner. And while it's in the control T mode, you can also move it. So I'm going to go ahead and move it down here next to the dog. And I want it to be about the same size because I just like the way that looks. And when I have it where I want, I'm going to either ch press the check mark or press enter. And then go over to my layers tab over here, right click where it says layer one and type dolphin. Enter. All right, now to the next photo. Go to my drive. Click on this guitar player. Download the picture. Go over here and open it. When you click open on your computer at school, it might not open it in Photoshop. So like I said, you might have to go, once it downloads, you might have to go to file open and find your photo wherever it downloads on the school computers. I believe there's an art folder, so keep that in mind if it doesn't work exactly the way I'm, I'm doing this on my computer. All right, so let's copy it. So first we have to select it. So control A, control C, and you can close that. Do control V to paste, control T to transform, then go on the corner and hold the shift key and drag the corner of the photo. I'm going to put this one right here and then hold the shift key again and make it a little bit bigger because I want it to be the same height as the other one. If you want to rotate a photo, I'm not going to do that on my layout, but if you wanted to rotate this photo, as long as the control T thing is still activated, if you move your um, cursor just to the outside corner, you can see that you can rotate your photos. So I don't want to do that though, so I'm going to do control Z, which is undo. All right, so I like where that photo is there, and I'm going to press either the check mark or return, and then right click on this layer and name it guitar. All right, so I see right now that I kind of want to space these bottom photos out a little bit. Um, so if you want to move one of your photos, you can go up in the layer, and there's the guitar layer and then I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard and I can just nudge it over a little bit like that or I can go on the dolphin photo and I can nudge that if you're not clicked on the layer though it won't move so make sure you click on the layer and then you can move your photo however you want all right so let's get my other two photos I'm going to go back to drive and I'm going to get the sunset picture download it Click on this button here to open it. And like I said, it might not automatically open it in Photoshop. You might have to go to File, Open to get your photo and then find it. But on my computer, it will automatically open in Photoshop because I had it set up that way. Okay, so now I need to copy this, but first I have to select it. So Control A to select it, Control C to copy it. Then I'm going to close that. 
press paste, which is control V. Then I want to transform, which is control T. Go to the corner of the picture, hold the shift key, and drag it to be the size that you want. I'm going to leave my top photos just a little bit bigger. So I think I'll do this layout like this. That should work. And I'm going to press Enter. Then I'm going to go over here where this new photo is. So you can turn these layers on and off. If you're, if you're not sure what layer is what, like if you forgot to name them and you're not sure, you can turn these little eye, eye icons on and off to see what layer is what. So this is the layer with the sunset. So I'm going to right click in there and I'm going to name it Sunset. Whoops. Press Enter. I want to move the sunset over a little bit, so I'm going to click on that layer, and then I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard. The, key, the arrows on your keyboard are the bottom right. I'm just going to nudge that over a little bit, and then I'm going to go to my surf picture, nudge that one over a bit. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that arrangement. Now the only things that are left to do is I need to type a title at the very top that has my name in it, so you all need to do that when you're done. Every time you do assignment it needs to have your name typed on there. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose the color that I want for my text. So I'm going to click there and I'm just going to choose white because I think that will stand out on here. And then I'm going to click on the window and it's going to give me some fake text. You guys already did a text assignment so you kind of know how that works. When you click on there it gives you this fake text. You just type right over it. So I'm going to say photo gallery by Mrs. Oaks. Now you can see my text is way too big. Yours might be way too small, might be too big, but we do know how to edit text because we already did an assignment with that. So what you want to do is take your cursor and put it right there and drag it over all the text. Now let's just... I want to show you where that is though. You can um, change the size of the text up here or you can go to Window and Open Properties and that will also give you um, a place to edit the size of the text. I think it's good to always have the Properties tab open because there's a lot you can do in there. Alright, so I, I don't want this to be 100 points. That's too big. Let's just make that like 50. So I'm going to drag my cursor over it and type 50. You can also just pull that arrow down and find something. That's 48 is pretty close. Alright, so that's pretty good size there. I like that. But I want to move it. So let me go to Layers again. I don't see my Layers tab anymore. So I'm glad that happened because I want to show you how to get it. If it's not over here and it's not here, you can just go back to Window and choose Layers. Whenever there's not a window open that you want, go to Window and then make sure it has a check mark by it. See Properties has a check mark. I'm going to click on layers. And where are my layers? Let's move that out of the way. You can just drag any of your panels over here too and get them out of the way. Alright, so I see my text layers right there. I'm going to click on it. So I'm going to click on this layer. And then another way you can move things, you can either do control T again and move it. You can also hold your shift key and make things bigger and smaller. Even your text you can do the control T thing on. So if you do control T you can change the size of the text and you can move it around just like you were with the images. So I'm going to do it that way. There's also this tool up here at the very top that lets you move things. But I very frequently just use control T because I like the fact that I can make things any size I want with it and move it at the same time. Okay, so that is what you need to do for this assignment. So let's go to the saving part of this assignment. So go to File, Save. Um, I'm going to save mine to the desktop. I think you should probably save yours to Documents or something like that. And we're going to name it Assign 3 dash and then put your name. Save it as a PSD file. The Photoshop file is editable so that you can change things later if you want to.
press save and say OK. And then you also need to go file, save as, and you need to save a JPEG of it too, because the JPEG is what you need to put on your slideshow. So assign 3 your name.jpg and press save, and you can leave that on the default. Okay, so that's done. Now we need to upload it to our drive and put it on our slideshow. So let's open up your Google Drive. I'm already logged in and I'm already in my Assignment 3 folder with the pictures that I used. I just need to upload my work. So I'm going to go New, File, Upload. I'm going to find where my photos are. In this case, I have mine on my desktop. I'm going to click Shift-click to get both of them and press Open. And now I have my JPEG and my PSD. So if I want to edit my PSD later, like add a different photo or fix something, I would open up this one. If I want to, the one I want to put on my slide presentation is this. So let's open up our slide presentation now. So let's go back to Drive. And here's my portfolio. That's our Google Slides. I'm going to right click on that. And here I have my cover page. I have assignment one, which was the random photo to upload. I have assignment two that has the text document. Now I need to make a new page. So I'm going to go here and add a new page. At the top, I'm going to type assignment three. And then over here, I'm just going to put photo collage. Make this box smaller. Whoops. Drag it from the corner and make that smaller. And then I'm going to insert my JPEG. So go insert image and I'm going to get it from Drive. And over here it shows everything that I have in Drive and that folder that I just made. I'm going to right click on that. And then I have my assignment three ready to go. So I'm going to go up here and say share. Make sure that it says anyone can see it and copy the link say done. And now when I fill out the assignment submission form, I can paste that link in there.